it's Girl Power Friday, and nothing says power more than four stars. And this high-ranking naval admiral has commanded ships on the high seas, rescued hostages from pirates, and continues to shatter the glass ceiling, paving the way for women in the military and girls who dream big. Meet Admiral Michelle Howard. She ran a mission that became a Hollywood blockbuster, Captain Phillips. Captain, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Are you taking care of this? Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you're you real. You so much. What was the moment like when you heard, we got him and he's safe? That was a big yes <laughs> moment for us. Whew. Did you sleep well that night? Uh, I actually uh, no. had to go start planning another mission then. <laughs> <laughs> no. Admiral Howard would soon command headlines again. Meet Michelle Howard, the Navy's newly promoted four-star admiral. It's first female four-star admiral. So we choose four-star admiral Michelle Howard. If you don't believe today was a first, when I called to order four-star shoulder boards for women, they didn't exist. And you folks are seeing the first set in the history of the United States. I want to read off some of your accomplishments. Vice Chief of Naval Operations, the number two officer in the service, first woman to hold that job, first African American to hold that job, highest ranking woman in the U.S. Naval history, highest ranking African American woman in the U.S. military, first woman to earn the rank of four-star admiral in the 239 year history of the Navy, one of only four women to ever hold the four-star rank in the history of the U.S. military. With all of these firsts, is it an overwhelming responsibility? You don't necessarily, when you look in the mirror, say, oh, I'm that rank. Uh, a lot of times, I think I look and I see myself in the job. One of the, when you talk about fun or best jobs, captain of a ship, I remember the first time I looked back in the mirror and I'm like, ah. I proudly serve my country's Navy combat team. No doubt, race and gender have I'm thrown up barriers, and somehow you've been able to break through them. How? When I've thought about the last 32 years of service, I marvel at the wisdom of my parents, the foundation my parents gave me, and the persistence of going after what you believe in. What's the biggest mistake you've made, and how has it influenced who you are today? Not being objective enough. And as I grew into adulthood, uh, it became clear I had to be a much better communicator with the, with the folks I worked with. And when Boris said, you know what, change is hard. Change uh, for people's minds is like putting on a new pair of shoes. It just hurts. <laughs> and so there were some hurting minds. <laughs> Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff and I believe that we must open up service opportunities for women as fully as possible. Great strides have been made by the Navy as you've personally witnessed in terms of women. Do you believe women will be Navy SEALs one day? Should be? When I started off at 12, I wouldn't have predicted I would have been on a ship. I wouldn't have predicted I would have had command of a strike group. I think the services change and we become more inclusive in that word, patriot. To protect and defend the Constitution of the United States. What would you like to see happen in the next decade? Since you talked about girl power, I would like to see girls understand our Navy and our services. It becomes a thought that, wow, that's something I can do, and then go after it. Girl power means we have a way to go, because at some point, we need to be a nation and a people where power means we think of women. What a remarkable, remarkable one. I have chills just listening to her. I could have talked to her all day. Mm -hmm. And to know that she's inspiring the next generation, I, we're in a good place. We're really enjoying this series that you're doing on Girl Power and shining a light because so many times with athletes and entertainers, you put the, you know, the spotlight on them. And I, I, for young people to see Admiral Howard mm -hmm. and with her voice, yeah, yeah, wonderful. People underestimate what a feat that is to mm. rise through the Navy like that. That's you have to go through so many hoops, so many levels. Oh, wow. Thanks for bringing that We salute. Yes, we do. And coming up.